Now I know authors often carry their characters around with them. Sometimes they say they can't get them out of their heads actually even when they they wish they would just leave them alone. Is Hector still with you? No, no. because I've moved on to another book now. Uh, I concentrate all my efforts on the book I'm working on at the time. I mm. don't get distracted. So when that book is finished, that character is finished and I put him away for a while, but it doesn't mean he's not going to come back. Mm. That's incredibly disciplined of you. I guess that's why you're the expert. <laughs> well, I've uh, had the experience of, uh, of 50 years of writing mm. and dealing with various characters and, and various situations. Mm. Now, the last time we spoke, you said that you do go back and read um, some of your older books from time to time. What's the last one of your books that you reread? Well, uh, I reread them. I don't read them all from beginning to end. No, that would take a very long time. It, it would, but I skip through the books mm. and re refresh myself uh, on the characters, on w where they are, and uh, and s and then I see, I make an assessment of what I can do with them further. Mm. What's the the last book you've skipped through? The last book was. Um, when the lion feeds, by the first one I wrote. Really? Yes. And what did you think when you were when you were going through it? I think, not bad, Smith. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now I know you have a really great relationship with your your wife, Nisa. Um, what's the last book of yours that she read? Uh, you'll have to ask her that one because uh, there's she reads very quickly and she reads a lot of books. Mm. I want to talk about, you actually dedicated this book to her, didn't you? Yeah. It's such a wonderful message. I just want to read it, if I can find it. I know it's here. I dedicate this book to Niso, who is the sun that lights my days and the moon that glorifies my nights. Thank you for those countless delights, my darling girl. You really have found a special relationship, haven't you? I have indeed, and I've been very fortunate. Mm. I know the last time I spoke to you, you said you had two great marriages and, and two not so great ones. <laughs> That's sad. When you, when you look back um, over the years, what, what's the most memorable thing that, that you reflect on when it comes to your writing? Uh, how much there is of it and how it's all been written from the heart. What would you say to people who say, who say that there's no money in writing? You hear that often. There's no money in being a doctor unless you're a good doctor. <laughs> well, there we go. Some advice, <laughs> some <laughs> advice <laughs> from Wilbur Smith. What, what are you working on next? I will come to that when I get to the next book. But right now I'm in the middle of, no, not the middle. I'm finishing off a new book mm -hmm. uh, in the Taita series. It hasn't even got a title yet. Um, but I'm uh, enjoying it. Now, when you say that you're finishing off the book, it ha doesn't have a title yet. How long does it take you to get that perfect title? Sometimes it comes immediately, really? as in the first chapter. Mm. And sometimes it's in the end, you still uh, uh, bashing your head against the book. Really? Which, can you remember uh, any recent books that you really didn't know what the title was going to be and it was quite hard to, to find a title? Well, the, the new one, Predator. Really? Yes, we, uh, they came up with a lot of, my publishers didn't like the title I originally had and I, it, it was just a working title. What and, was the working title? Oh, I can't remember now, there oh. were so many <laughs> times it came up. but. Um, and the predator, they said scavenger, and I said scavenger is a person go, who goes and empties the, the dustbins. Yeah. And um, if you want a title, uh, how about predator? And they said, Phew, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> because they are not you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. You're in Cape Town now. How long are you going to be in South Africa for? I know you you bounce back and forth. That exactly right. Mm. And. Um, we will debate it, my wife and I, and uh, then she will tell me, tell me when we're leaving. <laughs> Sounds like a good relationship to me. <laughs> now, I asked you about your most memorable moment writing. Do you have any regrets when it comes to your writing career? Something that you wished you would have done differently? No, not at all. I mm. did it all to the best of my ability, 
and to what I felt was right at the time. So I, you don't look back. If you look back and have regrets, so, you know, life's a hard thing. But if you look forward, um, travel for, forward joyously and hopefully. What are you looking forward to? The next book. <laughs> so and, are all of and us. Another, another um, year with my wife. Are you going to slow down anytime soon? I mean, almost 40 books under your belt. I suppose when I stop, I'll stop dead. Boom. <laughs> I don't know. But not anytime I haven't, soon. I haven't been there yet. Yeah. <laughs> Wilbur, thank you very much for sitting down with that, me. That's lovely. I'd like, like to see you again. <laughs>